Hey guys, so the Oxygen OS 13 is now official and you guys can install the first beta software on the OnePlus 10 Pro and it is coming soon to the OnePlus 10T and OnePlus 9 series. So yes, the Oxygen OS 13 is based on A13 and it is no doubt similar to Color OS cause they are sharing same code base but in the end it is what it is and OnePlus slash Oppo have done some massive changes in the OS 13 like this aquamorphic design which they say is seamless, versatile and has rounded corners all over with fast animation. So let's check that out. So this is the initial setup screen and we have some small interface changes and I like how unlike MIUI which forces users not to turn off ads, OnePlus is still simplistic when it comes to the initial setup screen. So I am done with the setup and all and this one is the OnePlus 10 Pro running OS 13 and on the right we have the OnePlus 9 Pro on OS 12.1. Starting with the lock screen, can clearly see huge UI changes. We now have this dual clock which works sort of similar to Pixel UI. Like when there's any message or now playing, it is gonna switch to the basic non-dual clock. Now OnePlus is mainly focusing on the always on display. There are some changes in the inside AOD and we now have some new canvas AODs too. And I like how they did something similar to iOS 16. The clock is not overlapping the canvas AOD which looks clean. See now home screen and launcher may look similar to OS 12.1 but we finally have material use style icons which looks great. You guys can enable it from the icon settings and as always you can change the icon size, design and now the colors as well. Fun part is OnePlus have added some new widgets too which looks cool. Now yes we do have shelf when swiping down from top right it is basically a collection of interactive widgets which is quite handy. You can disable it like I do and then comes the quick settings panel which is better than ever. So we now have some pixel like horizontal tiles and in now playing tile on right so it is a handy UI like you can expand the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings but rest of the tiles are like OS 12 which is fine too. Now I'll show you some system applications like Dialer, Messages, Gallery slash Photos, Camera UI, Calculator, Clock. Then we have Zen mode which has got some new changes too. This is the games application and there are some cool changes including performance booster there too. Fast pair which is like an interface to seamlessly connect and switch devices. Finally settings and you guys can see we now have material U elements here and there and just like color OS you guys can now select color accent from wallpaper itself. Yeah there are some new customization options too. So we have always on display, fingerprint scanner and lock screen customization. Now quickly showing off the main settings and micro settings like Wi-Fi connection. And yeah there are some visual changes, new infographics here and there and OnePlus of course is bound to include the basic A13 changes like new privacy which OnePlus calls private safe 2.0 will only show the images, files which you want the application to see. In-app translation and colored icons for third party apps. So I will see most of these changes in the final OS 13. This is the about phone section of Oxygen OS 13 and overall it is a subjective UI and me I like it a lot. You still get a simplistic UI, no ads or bloatwares and then there are some important features like dual apps, application lock and whatnot. The animation and speed is a lot faster and smoother than before, the battery life is good too. And this all guys, thanks so much for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.